guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Banished Colonial Charter 1.7. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because my tooth is so sore right now and it's making it really difficult to speak. So, I do genuinely hope you're having a better day than I am. I have a dentist appointment on the 1st of March. I can look forward to that. Everything's gonna be okay. Now, with that said, today I would actually like to address some concerns that I have with Tukas because we don't have as much food as I'd like. So what I'm going to do is, first off, I'm going to close the school again because I need to, because I can't yet have a whole bunch of students. And I know, I know that I keep doing that, but I can't. We can't have those students. We don't have enough food. We need people working to get food. So what I'm going to do is I am going to get, for one, another fishing dock. Because thus far, fishing docks have been relatively useful. So I want one up there. We're going to get uh, two builders to work on everything that we're building today. I want a fishing dock up there. I want to get a storage barn done here. So I'm going to throw a storage barn just into that spot, which is hopefully going to address some of the concerns that you guys have had in the comments. A lot of you have been saying that I should add a storage barn to this area down here. So that's absolutely what we're doing. We're adding this here to uh, make it easier for all of these guys to take their food to a storage barn. Uh, we can also go ahead and get a little country road just leading to the barn just there. So that'll get built the fishing dock will get built and i'm also thinking i might add well no i could add a storage barn down here but I, I think one of the big problems we're having at the moment is that the farms are all very far away from where people live so i think it might be an idea to scrap these two farms over here and put two farms down here instead so that's kind of what i'd like to try and do so i guess we'll see if we can now these are are these four units in width, it's difficult to tell. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so then one, two, three, four. So this would be where a road would need to go for another row of houses. Okay. So if I do a gravel road just there, I can get more houses into that space. I'll double up the gravel road just there because I can. Uh, I could very well double up this road completely, but I don't think I'll bother with that in, you know, into one of these fancy kind of roads. I don't think I want to do that. I think what I'd like to do is come over here and get a couple more farms done this way. So, give me an 11 by 11, just there. And an 11 by, maybe 11 by 14, just to fill out the space. No, let's do 11 by 11, because we know it works. So, two new 11 by 11 farms down there seems like a pretty good idea. We can get more houses into this space at some point. Uh, we could get a couple more, but I think... It's a little bit unnecessary to get more farms at the moment. I do think having these close to where the people work, though, is going to be very important. Uh, I would like to get a storage barn over here somewhere, if I can. So right in, uh, in about that spot seems like a good place for a storage barn. And that's basically what I want to do. I want to get all of this work done. I want to get the new fishing dock out there. I want to get rid of these two farms and move them to this spot in fact, you know what? I am gonna go ahead and add a couple more farms in here. I want to get one just there, which is going to be, again, 11 by 11. And then again, 11 by 11. That's not 11 by 11. That is, uh, that is definitely not 11 by 11. Let's get rid of you. Okie dokie. So, 11 by 11. There we go. So, I think those four farms are going to be good for anyone living in here. Because I do, I mean, do my farmers live in these houses? Do we have any farmers living in these houses? It actually doesn't seem like it, does it? Which is great, because it completely goes... Oh, yeah, there's a few farmers living in there. Um, fair enough. I mean, we do have, I assume, some farmers living in these ones as well. Again, it doesn't seem like it. Where are my farmers living? Are a lot of them living up this way? Yeah, farmer, 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 farmer. Yeah, so... Okay, so some of my farmers are living up that way. That's fair enough. Let's go ahead and set this one to be blackberries. It's all going to be blackberries, let's be honest. Uh, that's just sort of the way of things. Now, what I would like to do, I think, is I'd like to come along to the trading post here for a second because I want to get a thousand bits of lumber 
into the inventory here because lumber is actually worth like four, I think it's four like units of trade. So 4,000 units of trade would be our capacity there. And I know what you're thinking. That's a lot. That's a lot of lumber. Yes, it is. But at the minute, that's the only thing I can, I, I know of that will do really well in terms of trade. So that's what I'm going for. Get some blackberries there. Get two farmers on the go. Uh, get some blackberries there. And another farmer on the go. And then this one will be cleared out eventually, and we can get that fourth farmer for that little space there. Is uh, is this built yet? No, it isn't. Okay. That's totally fine. No big deal. No worries. Totally fine. Uh, let's see. So these buildings here, you are... That's the forge, which is currently working on iron. That's what I want it to do. Uh, the joiner's not currently working. The chandlery, the candles place, is uh, not currently working. And uh, it does seem like the stone and iron mines are very close to being out of resources. So I'm going to give a construction order for that as well. Because we do want to make sure that we can keep on with the, uh, with the mining. So I think having just a regular mine somewhere like that might not be a terrible idea. So we'll get that built eventually as well. Is this farm good to go? Yes, it is. Beautiful. Let's get that 13th farmer and hope for the best. We could, by all means, get two more farms up here as well, but I do want to put a lot of people to work on this uh, this fishing dock, so I'm not going to do that just yet. We have 10 laborers, though, so we'll see. I mean, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's get a country road leading up to this, because I might as well. Uh, let's go ahead and have it just lead from... How about there, I reckon? Should be fine. So we'll get that done, get that built, and hope for the best. We are currently at the limit of fuel, I assume, which is probably fine. I'm looking forward to uh, the next the next year. I'm feeling like the next year is probably going to be pretty good. I mean, four new farms right next to houses doesn't seem like a terrible thing. Uh, we have a farmer living there. We have some laborers there. We have we don't actually have that many farmers living in these houses at all, to be honest. But that's probably okay. That's probably fine. I really hope it's going to be fine. I don't know where the farmers that work here actually live. Although, can't I... I can't find that out, can't I? Paths. Yes, yeah, so they live there. You live there. There and there. That's actually perfect. Uh, you live there and there. And you live there. You live pretty close by... You... Yeah, you all actually live really close to where you work. So that's probably fine. Uh, now the problems with these guys is that they live a little bit further away. Then these guys live quite, well, not far away, but further away as well. I do want to just make sure that we're always having people living as close to their workplace as possible. Uh, now you're going to sell me jade, pearls, cloth, and barrels. I'm not really interested. I'm definitely interested in seeds. I will absolutely take some seeds. But unfortunately, he didn't have any of those. An outbreak of typhus has occurred. Excellent. Excellent. Um, yo, can you, um, what's your name? Lane, can you, uh, can you go to the hospital, please? Like, seriously, go to the hospital and don't get, and don't infect anyone else. Let's get you cured. And let's not. Let's not worry about the typhus, if we can. So you are you are getting treated, which is beautiful news. Uh, there was someone for a second there that was complaining about being cold. Oh, wow, the typhus is gone. That was easy. That was remarkably easy. Well done, everybody. You all did good. You, Elaine didn't go around sneezing on people. That's, that's progress, is what that is. Okay, so uh, something else I do think we're going to need is uh, to very very quickly actually go ahead and get two more farms just up here that one's not big enough that's a bit of a problem uh let me go and clear that one and very very quickly come on just there can we get those done please can i up the priority of them come on get those done if you wouldn't mind there we go so increase the priority of that so that one's not ready to go 
Why is there like five things that need removed from this? That seems kind of silly. Come on, remove it. Someone remove it. For God's sake, remove it. There we go. Right, and then that's going to be Black Breeze as well. Uh, now, the reason for that is because I actually want to get rid of these two farms here. So remove those. Which, there we go. So they've moved up to those farms. Now, the reason I wanted to do that is because I want to get some markets in here. So if we go to town service buildings, it's not in there. Uh, it's in market buildings. Now, we have things like the small market, which I think is used to provide food, tools, clothing, materials, and fuel. We have the edibles market, which is edible food only. Which is certainly tempting to uh, just add an edibles market in here. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. The rural market, which is that one, which I think is like the market from like the regular... That's just the regular banished market, isn't it? Is it any different though? Is it any different than the, the small market? Or like the central market? Oh wow, the central market's nice. That's really nice. Is it any different though? No, I think it is just an aesthetic thing. So I could add something like the old sign market as well. But I feel like I'm just going to add the small market. Although it doesn't have a very big radius. The old sign market does. So I think the old sign market's going to win it. Let's get that in there. And maybe I will add an edibles market as well. Although that doesn't really make sense, does it? Considering, oh, that's got a bloody big area on it as well. Maybe we just add the edibles one. Because distribution of other things at the moment doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. So I think the edibles market might just be what we want. Because I just want good distribution of food at the moment. That's kind of my big concern. So an edibles market right there. Yeah, that's got, that's got brilliant range on it. That should be totally fine. Now there's a trader. Let's see what you have for me. You have beef cows. That's actually tempting. Because that would be another food source. So if I was to say that I wanted like two of those. Okay. So if I was to give you like 800, not 800. 800 of those would be what exactly? 32, okay. So I don't need to give you 800. I need to give you 400. But what if I wanted... What if I did want four of them? I think I'm going to do it. 800. There you go. I will take the trade. I will take the cattle. I will pause the game for a moment. And we're going to have to get ourselves a pasture. Which I'm feeling could go either up here or over here. I don't know. I'm not really sure where to put it just yet. I think... I think, I, well, I could put it here, but I, th I think this space might be the best one for it. So let's go into here. Let's go to animal pens. Milk pens. No, 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 no. Uh, we want a standard pasture. So something like this. What size can it be? 20 by, oh, it can be 19 by 19. What if I wanted it longer? We can go up to... A considerable size. Jesus, 30 by 19. Let's get 27 by 19. There we go. So we'll get that built and we'll put the cattle in there. Hopefully. Hopefully that doesn't take too long. We have 17 laborers. Jesus. We could probably afford to put a few of you guys in the mines. Hold on, that's doing iron ore. This one's what's this one doing? That's doing coal. That's fine. Let's get a few of you in the mines. Let's get up to like 15 of you in the mines. Which is probably for the best. There's only three working in that other one, though. If we bring the number of workers done in this one, we can bring the number of workers up in the other one. So ten in there and five in there. That's probably fine. Should be fine. Hopefully fine. Better be fine. I also totally forgot about the fishing dock. So how many fishermen do we currently need? We need four more. There we go. So there, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, God. I... <laughs> So, I saw the little yellow thing up here alerting me that there's uh, one extra per person on the fisherman job. And for a second, my brain went, oh god, what are, they, what are they doing over here? They're not over there. My brain's just a bit of an idiot. That's fine. That's totally fine. I'm okay with my brain being dumb. 
I'm not okay with someone being all the way over there. Now, can I go ahead and get a tunnel here? So that's not a thing I can build. I can't build a tunnel there. I can build a tunnel there, though. Which I'd like to do. I'd like to build a tunnel there so we can uh, go under the mountain to get to the other mine. That seems like it would be a pretty good idea. Is th This is actually ready to be built. Good. Beautiful stuff. We currently need six builders. Not entirely sure why. Oh, we don't have anyone working in the market. Let's get uh, two people on that job. So that we can uh, hopefully have enough food. It's early autumn and we're harvesting as well, which is also good news. Admittedly, these farms up here are being quite slow. Where do the people that work there live? That's the real question. Oh, wow. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. And that's good. Yeah, I do notice that the people that live closest to the farms, like, seem to be doing the best with harvesting. So that's not ideal. Like, this guy here lives right across the road. Like, you guys live relatively close. We do seem to have plenty of food, though, so I think we'll be okay. Now, let's go ahead and get some beef cows in there. We can have up to 25 of them. Let's get one person working that job. We could go for two people working that job, because we might as well. And that'll be good. It'll be good to have the, uh, an extra source of food. Oh, the tunnel's done already. Jesus, that was quick. Okay, let's get a uh, gravel road going too, I suppose. We'll do that kind of thing there, just because we can. Uh, this can sort of come around the front of this, I suppose. Yeah, that should be fine. That's an easy way to get through to the mines, which I think is something that they're going to uh, hopefully appreciate. I'm also thinking that we could maybe go ahead and build something in here, like a some kind of stockpile or something. Just a sort of generic stockpile, really. So, stockpiles, uh, just give me a regular one. I do think just a, a regular stockpile here would uh, would be for the best. Because it does need to look a little bit grimy there, you know? That's sort of the, the edge of the industrial zone. So, we'll just make it look a little bit grimy. We'll go for a gravel road just here to, um, you know, make that all blend in a little bit. We could go for a giant stockpile in here. I don't know if there's much point in that. Because this could very well be an area to uh, to put some houses. Which, I mean, we have 95 adults and 19 kids. So that's definitely an option. Definitely an option. Uh, I do think, though, what might be a better idea before we start building more houses is to look into food refining. Because food, re refined food lasts longer, right? Like, that's that's the assumption I'm making here. There's a bakery where we can, we can make, you know, baked goods. We have the smokehouse, which will cure a variety of fresh food for preserving. We have the salting house. We have the sugar house. What else have we got? We've got, uh, we've got butcher stalls. Chop beef into different kind of meats and products. The sheep butcher. It might be good to get some butchers, to be honest. That might be a good idea. I guess we'll see. I guess what we can do is throw them sort of up this way. Apparently I can put it like that. That seems like it's right on the road, though. So give me a, a cow butcher there, and I guess a sheep butcher there. I would really like to look into refined stuff, though. Uh, the old dairy doesn't make sense. A milking barn. I'll need some domesticated animal resources to build it. I don't know. Is that a thing we have? I know we have some domesticated animals, but I don't know what ones we have. Uh, dismiss that. We don't have a town hall, so I can't even look at my general inventory. I should probably sort that. Seven domesticated animals. That brings us up to 11 and 12. Yeah, we have enough. Okay. Let's look at foodstuffs. Let's go to this, and we want to get a milking barn. That's a beautiful building. That's a really beautiful building. Look at that. Yeah, let's, let's just throw that there. Now, why do you not have a job? What do you do? You're a stone cutter. Oh, I know what the problem is. This is just run dry. 
All right. That means that we are not producing stone anymore. That's a bit of a worry, but we should be okay. Uh, let me go and just get some country roads or something to bring up between these buildings. Uh, we'll do... We'll do soil. We'll just go for soil. That'll do. Oh, yeah. Speaking of soil. Um, so, <laughs> you might... Oh, those aren't placed correctly, are they? No, no, no. They are not. Oh, dear. You might remember the soil story that I told. The whole, like, I used to find the word soil kind of funny. The reactions to that story were amazing. Some people were just genuinely sitting there going, what the hell are you talking about? Like, here's the thing. I didn't find it funny in the sense that I would sit there cackling every time someone's like, soil. I didn't just sit there laughing my ass off. It was just a, it was kind of a funny word. It's just, oh, soil. It's, it's just... I'm not going to get into the, th the thing again, but I, some some people thought that I meant I would l legit sit there like laughing my ass off because someone said soil. It's not it wasn't quite that simple. But yeah, that was uh, that was interesting. Uh, we just had a vendor die. That's fine. Let me go ahead and get a town hall. Because a town hall will bring us nomads, which could be useful. Could be very useful to have some nomads. So we'll put the town hall there. We can bring a gravel road up beside it. Then I think we'll just leave the area around it sort of empty for the time being. Because uh, we don't really have that much stone. I would like to fill the whole area in, but we just we just don't have the stone. And we don't have any source of stone at the moment. Although I could send my... Uh, oh, wow. They've cleared a lot of this area already. I could send some laborers out to do some harvesting. In like that area. So they'll do that eventually. We are sitting on like four and a half thousand food. That is a little bit concerning, but it's late spring, so. Oh wait, no, late spring. They're still gonna be growing this through summer. I forgot about that. That seems like considering like some of these fields are at like 58%, that one being at 17 and that one being at 28 is worrying. That one being at 11 is worrying. Jesus. That's not good. This is, this is maybe going to be a rough year. I have a feeling. I do have a feeling that this is going to be a bit of a rough year. But thus far, I mean, despite that feeling, I'm not feeling too bad about it all. Uh, this barn is ready to go, apparently. Apparently, we have someone working in there. Yeah, we do. So it's a herdsman works in there. Uh, we could probably deal with a couple more of those. Let's maybe bring two people out of the mines there just to get some extra workers. Let's get another herdsman there. There we go. So there's now two herdsmen working in there, meaning we should be getting some milk from this. Which is beautiful news. That is going to be another source of uh, of food. And that's kind of what we desperately need at the moment. So hopefully that all goes well. Uh, this place here has some stuff in it. Not really much, but... I mean, some is better than nothing. Looks like some harvesting's going on here. You guys are pretty close to a harvest. You guys are pretty close as well. Uh, you're getting there. That's fine. Why do you guys not have... Oh, this has just ran out as well, hasn't it? Yeah. All right. Let's bring that right down there. So we are up to 12 laborers because we're no longer getting iron from here and no longer getting stone from there. That kind of tells me that I, I probably want to look into getting a quarry. I'm also thinking that it might be worth just closing the forge. Because the forge makes iron, right? But the forge, it's it's just making iron. But I could just have this guy do it. So I feel like that's something I maybe want to do. I don't know. It's tempting. I think I am going to set you to just make iron. So it is going to need to go get fuel for it. But what I can then do is turn off the forge. So that should, uh, that has given me two more laborers. We're up to 19 laborers, which seems like a good thing. Uh, we need someone working in there. Just like so. So what do you need? Like, I don't know, I don't know what the inventory of either of these things happens to be. I would assume that it is to do with um, any time a sheep is killed. Like if we have an, like an excess amount of sheep or something, 
then these guys will go and collect the meat. It seems like they've already they're off to collect something already. Because oh no, there is a marker above it. Never mind. I don't know. I don't know how exactly they work, but that'll be fine. Survival coats, not at all interested, so get lost there, buddy. We're up to 8,000 food. That's better than nothing, I suppose. I assume we have some milk being made as well, which is pretty good news. Let's see then. So what else can we do for refined food? What else have we got? Tinneries. So this is all like canned food and stuff. Yeah, meat is... Yeah, meat is processed or preserved into tin cans. Due to processing, you get more food quantity and value out than you put in. So that's kind of what I want to go for, but I don't know what half those resources are. Uh, vegetable tinneries would be useful. Fruit tinneries and soup tin Yeah, that would be really, really useful. Let's see. Animal pens, milk pens, wool pens, egg pens. Oh, that just needs domesticated animals. That's potentially useful. Definitely potentially useful. Uh, food refining, again, we've got like things like the, the dairy parlor, which makes butter, cream, and cheese from milk. I feel like that's something to look into as well. Hold on a minute. That looks like it can just be attached to the side of the barn. Oh, that totally can. That's totally designed to be attached to the side of the barn. I kind of want to do that. I kind of want, want to attach the dairy parlor to the side of the barn. So let's go ahead and remove all of that road. Because that seems like it's going to be a good idea because I can get me dairy parlor there. Which, you know, I'd kind of like more food, so. That seems like it makes sense. There we go. Dairy parlor can go right. No, nope, no it can't. Oh, come on. Oh, that's not fair. I need to upgrade this thing if I want rid of it, and I need a lot of candles to do that, so. I mean, I'll set the upgrade to be done. I know it's maybe a waste of candles, but that is the only way I can get rid of that. I need to upgrade it and then get rid of it. That's kind of annoying. Either way, let's get the, the dairy parlor somewhere else then. It's a weird looking building to have off on its own, but sure, that'll be fine. Oh, if I put that barn the other way around, I could have put it there. Man, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Uh, let's see then. Let's get rid of that bit of road for the time being. So all of that can go away, and then the parlor can go in that little space. Just right there. Come on, take your time. Get rid of the road. Two more. There we go. Dairy parlor right there. There's a new trader. What have you got for me? Uh, pigs. Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Now that you mentioned it, pigs would be nice. I definitely wouldn't say no to, like, four pigs. So, if I, I need to give you, like, a lot here. Like, 600? That's a bit much. What about six? What about 550? It's not an... That is enough. Okay. Trade. I will absolutely take four pigs, because that'll be useful for food as well. So, we need another pasture. But that's probably okay. So, let's go ahead and get another pasture. Which is... That's a fenceless pasture. That's not what I want. Uh, I want to do, like, 22 by 10, maybe? 22 by 12? Let's, let's do 22 by 12. So something like that. I know there's a little gap in there. That's completely intentional. But that should be fine. We'll get that built, hopefully soon. We'll get the pigs done there. And that is another source of food, which is beautiful stuff. That's exactly what I want. Exactly, exactly what I want. Uh, let's see then. So if we have another look at food. We... An oil press. What does an oil press do? Oil from olives and harvested sunflower, flax, and cotton seeds. Not really interested. We've got the bakery. But I feel like to get the bakery, we need some of the, uh, the windmills, which will grind flour from grain. So, yeah, I mean, as much as I would not say no to having a windmill, we don't actually have any way of growing grain at the moment. So that's fine. 
Uh, we've got the Preservist. This makes preserves such as jams and pickles out of fruits and vegetables. Jams need sugar. Pickles need spirits. Glassware comes from the glassworks. So that's something we can't do just yet. You cure a variety of foods. I feel like the smokehouse could be an interesting one to get in here. But I worry that I'm doing uh, the same thing that I did with the uh, with the the industrial area here. In that uh, I basically wound up building way too much stuff in one go. But that I feel like that's kind of what I did. Oh wow, this is actually almost ready to be built. Not bad. Then I can delete it. That's the only reason I'm upgrading this whole thing. It's ridiculous. Uh, I'd like to do the same with with, uh, with this as well. Upgrade it so I can delete it and reclaim that land. And I, as for all of you, like the joiner, I can I can maybe have you go back to work. I know that the the forge I can have you make. Yeah, you can make joists, right? So you can make it from twenty iron and six coal. But isn't there another way I can make joists? I could swear that there was. I swear that's a thing. You make candles. You make homewares. Building supplies. Is there not another way to make joists? I need to Google this real quick. Hold on. Um, Colonial Charter. Uh, joists. How do you make joists in Colonial Charter? So... Oh, that just gives me, like, the most basic information on it. Joists, how are they made? This is a general discussion on Banished. Upgrade the blacksmith shop, and then you can make them. Okay. Not really what I'm looking for. So, joists... Oh, this... Oh, it didn't give me the information either. God damn it. Joists are made in the forge or foundry from iron and coal. So, it seems that joists might be exactly what I need. That might be, like, the only thing. Oh, no, hold on a minute. This is what I'm... Oh, I'm completely getting that mixed up. So, it's building supplies. I don't need joists for building supplies. I can make it from things like bricks and lumber. It's just that bricks take longer to make and lumber takes longer to make. But, that does mean that I wouldn't be consuming my iron making joists. So, let's get the brickworks on the go again. Let's get two people working in that job, because that's just going to take clay and furnace fuel. And then what I can do is I can make building supplies from all of that. So we'll get the building supplier on the go as well. And that should be fine. As for this guy, I feel like I might... I'll keep one person working at the candles place, and then I might get a couple more people working at the apiary. Or one more person working in the uh, apiary. Oh, this is ready to go. Beautiful. Uh, pigs. There we go. And get one person working down there. Not bad. Is that? Oh, I built a fenceless one. Damn it. It's not really what I was wanting, but okay. Fair enough. We should see the pigs coming down here soon enough. Where are they? Here, pig, pig, pig. Here, pig, pig, pig. Here, pig. <laughs> Here, pig. Where the hell are the pigs? Jesus. Okay, they're not there. Right, where where have me pigs gone? I can't help but notice that we don't seem to have a, have them anymore. Have they just like have they gone home? Did they jump on a boat? Oh, there they are. Hey, pig, pig, pig. There you go. Can I click you? No. <laughs> Would have been nice. Just name it. Name the pig. Yeah, it can't be clicked. That's fair enough. So we have the pigs. That's beautiful news. Uh, this is... Wait a minute. That's got iron ore in it again? So if you rebuild these, you can use them again? Okay, now that's interesting. That is very interesting. So I can have you mine iron ore again. Which, I mean, I'm not necessarily using because the forge isn't doing anything, but I could say that the forge is going to, like... Well, it could just make iron, couldn't it? Okay. Uh, let's give the forge some work. We'll get one person working in the forge, so it's not going to be very efficient. We'll get a couple of people working in there again. And that'll get me iron ore. 
Then this one can get me more stone when it gets upgraded. Not bad. Uh, I can get more people working in there, right? There we go. So the food situation seems to be better. It's early spring, and we're on seven. We were on seven and a half thousand there. So I think for the most part, I've done some decent work here in uh, in actually getting us some food. Now the reserve of tools is low. That's actually a bit worrying, and that seems to be a logs problem. So what that tells me is that I probably want to give a general order to go and harvest trees from, like, that area. So go harvest all of those if you wouldn't mind. And uh, what I'm also going to have to do is... I feel like I need to get more foresters, to be honest. I feel like that's a big part of it, just getting more foresters and uh, hoping that they'll do a good job. Because my foresters really don't seem like they're working all that efficiently. They really don't. Unless... Unless I do need to get two foresters. Because this guy here will grow trees and cut them. What if I got the two sets of foresters lodges that will both grow and cut... Uh, one that grows, one that cuts. Because I always see comments about that. And I generally ignore them because I don't know the reasoning behind it. I don't know if it makes sense. So... Yeah, I'm not being mean ignoring them. I just don't know the reasoning. People are all, people like to offer advice, and I appreciate it, but you need to explain your advice. Otherwise, it just doesn't make sense. Like, that's that's the problem. It's like, I appreciate that you're giving me advice, but if you don't explain why it's important for me to do that, then I'm not just going to go do it because I don't know my reasoning. So, what I'm getting at is that if you think... Hold on, why isn't this built? Oh, it needs lumber. Yeah, that makes sense. We are using a lot of lumber in trading, aren't we? We don't actually have much because we don't have wood. Fair enough. It seems like we might be entering another great tool crisis here. Although we do have lumber coming in or wood or logs. There's the word. We do have logs coming in, so we should... We should be able to sort of avert this crisis relatively quickly. Either way, the point I was trying to get to was... If you're one of those people that in the past on my banished stuff has said, hey, build two lumber mills, one that's going to chop the trees, one that will plant them. Explain the reasoning. Because I'm tempted to try it. I'd just also like to know why that is something that people suggest doing. Because I don't know the actual reasoning behind it. So, uh... With that in mind, ladies and gents, I am actually going to go ahead and leave it there for today. I would say Tukas is coming together. I'd say we're doing all right. I'd say my use of space isn't necessarily ideal because, I mean, I've, I've got these bloody big roads going around here. But I think for the most part, we're probably okay. 25 people don't have tools. I think we can fix that. We have plenty of logs coming in. We have the town hall ready for construction. So hopefully things are going to come together. Either way, thank you, Kelly, for watching. This has been Banished Colonial Charter 1.7. I do believe this is part six. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.